Justice, I want you to say that I can't believe we made it to this day, but I always knew it would be me and you. I've wanted to spend my life with you for as long as I can remember, and today our day is finally here. Bridge, my love, we are finally starting our next step in life, and I can't believe I'm going to get the privilege to call you my wife. You have shown me what it is to be a caring partner, and you have taken care of me in ways that I can't even begin to thank you for or how much it means to me. Bridget, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together with him in covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful unto him as long as you both shall live? As long as I do. I do. <laughs> Justice. A little, a little long pause, a little longer than I like. <laughs> Will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. He said it a little quicker. <laughs> God. Do you like it? So pretty. I am just so proud to have you guys have found each other and the most beautiful couple in the world, very clearly. But the love that we all feel in this room for you is just bursting at the seams. You guys are wonderful. You are everything. And boy, Uncle Towns is going to have some gnarly stories for those kids someday. I've known Bridget and Justice since sixth grade, so I'm lucky to have gotten to witness their relationship over the years, or relationships, I should say. <laughs> so to prove that Bridget really loves Justice, I wanted to share a couple stories with everyone. You know, if the ceremony and wedding bands weren't enough proof. Bridget and I lived together sophomore year of college. And one night we were sitting in the living room talking about who we thought we would end up marrying. For Bridge, I said I thought she would either start dating someone and fall for them really fast, or she would eventually give in to Justice who liked her. And the thing is, she did both. When she told me that they started dating, I could tell from her face that she had already fallen really fast and that doesn't really happen with her. So it was surprising for me to see. And I think that's really a testament to justice and who he is.
absolute joy to present you to those gathered as Mr. and Mrs. Justice R. Thompson. You may kiss that bride. I want to make a toast for Bridget and Justice that, that you have God's hand in your marriage, okay? that he will bless your family, your children, and your children's children. This is premium ostrich, crafted somewhere where they craft premium <laughs> ostrich boots. And you might think by the size of it, it is for you and it absolutely is, but it's also for Bridget because down in here is a cell phone bill and an insurance bill. Because the boot is yours, now it's your responsibility.